What is up guys, welcome back to the channel Guys, we here in Sweden We got some culture shocks uh, This is from somebody else's perspective On these culture shocks uh, And I didn't even look at the name Maribel, Maribel uh, She's gonna give us some culture shocks Moving, She moved to Sweden Let's see where we're from, I don't know From Canada, look like I see the Canadian flag On the thumbnail So, uh, that's pretty good you know, I'm Technically still American you know, Part of the Americas So yeah, moving to Sweden. We're going to see Maribel. Let's check on it out. Instagram. Hello, everybody. So I asked you guys on Instagram for video ideas for this week. And I would say the majority of you guys wanted to know more about my experience living in Sweden. So I figured that I would talk about culture shock. Okay, so this idea was Evelina. Evelina's Evelina. idea. I hope I said your name right. But before we begin, if you're new to my channel, then let's make this channel an even bigger channel by subscribing. I post on a weekly basis and hit that like button for me. That really helps my video. And also commenting gotcha, gotcha. something simple or just saying hello in the comment section. It helps push my videos out there. So please help a girl out. I've been doing this for a long we time. We got you. We got you. And um, I would love to just keep growing before we get into it drinking from my moomin cup so this <laughs> is all based off of me being a canadian living in sweden okay. um these are just little things that i've noticed and i figure why not share them oh, she got a pretty <laughs> nice house something that i notice with swedish people is small talk isn't as much of a thing here <laughs> um, especially if you're like paying for something or like at cash registers it's not really a thing like in Canada you wait in line at at the cash register and then you know they'll ask you like how was your day and oh, nice. even if they don't really care they're just kind of like we yeah, have how to are you dinner. well that's nice I don't really care but I'm just <laughs> making small talk because I want to be got polite. a lot of groceries and in Sweden it's just kind of I find myself like trying to make small talk because I'm just so used to it yeah. and they'll just kind of like sometimes it's like good and I'm just like <laughs> they're a little bit more chatty. <laughs> I know small talk that's one of the hardest things because I think I don't know me personally I feel like that's anywhere because me I don't I might if somebody say how are you I'm like I'm doing good how are you you know I'm doing good boom bam that's it but other than that, you know, I might get somebody. Sometimes you get somebody to nod, depending on who it is, give them the up. And you know, if you see them from a distance, you give them the one from far away type of thing. You know, I'm just good with you know, just, you know, giving the head now. That's always safe. Addy, then they will, you know, chat back. But um, generally, it's just kind of like, pay and then leave <laughs> i do kind of wish that canada was a little bit more like that sometimes because sometimes you really just want to pay for your stuff and go and you don't want to chit chat i also noticed that heart. swedes seem to be less bothered by silences and conversations mm. like if there is a, a a lull in the conversation like swedes f to, at least from what i've noticed will just kind of like sit back and okay i don't know if it's the people that i surround myself with i really don't but <laughs> i noticed that when the conversation starts to like dip mm, uh yeah. one person or multiple people will make the sound hmm <laughs> they're kind of okay with like you know letting the conversation just kind of uh dip die down like, a little bit silence but for, for me, I'm just kind of like, oh, God, it's a silence. Okay, think of all the things <laughs> that you need to talk about to fill the silence. And I think most times, it's like when you talk to certain people, there's, I know with me, there's certain topics, conversations you can have. And I might, you know, be short talk, short lived. You know, I ain't going to say much. But then there might be some certain topics and you bring up a certain thing. I could probably talk forever. So I think with, I think it's just a simple thing of communication, like, you talk about something that interests that person. They probably could talk forever, you know. I, I, I feel have, like, like that's so for much anybody. Anxiety when it comes to silences, this is another thing that I find really hilarious. But it feels like Swedes kind of go out of their way to like avoid interactions with like neighbors. Mm. Uh, there, <laughs> there was this TikTok once. Um, I think it was it was either made by, I'm not sure if it was a Norwegian. I'll insert it now. When Norwegians meet no, neighbors. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. And I just find that so hilarious because <laughs> for me, I, I can feel that in myself, but I force myself to like interact with people because that's like the polite thing to do and see i i ain't i'll be i'm that person if i see you in the store i'm trying to make sure you don't see me first see me first type of thing you know if i see you from a distance i'm probably go the other way because i want to you know if i'm in a rush this only if i'm in a rush but if i see you i'm like hey what's up how you doing how you been with going about my business but if i see most of i see people that i know that can talk Hey, I got to see you from a distance. I'm like, I got to make that long walk to this other register. But that, the, I, but me, I just know certain people. You know certain people. that Because I know I can talk, but most of the time, I'm quiet. But um, At least that's how I've been taught. But, like, Swedes are just kind of like, oh, the neighbor's outside. Let, let me just wait until he <laughs> or she just leaves. Um, there was this one moment where me and Sebastian were getting ready to leave the apartment our neighbor is like in the hallway and sebastian like he's like opening the door and then he closes the door and i look at him like what's happening and he was like <laughs> oh the neighbor's outside and i'm like so <laughs> and he waits for the neighbor to go into his apartment he pretends that he forgot <laughs> something in our apartment uh waiting for our neighbor to go into his apartment I thought that was hilarious because that I, is. I can feel that that part of me like wanting to do things like that. But it's just like the polite thing to do to go outside and say, hi, neighbor. Um, I just thought that was really funny because I'm like, uh, but like I'm you like, got to make yeah, the eye contact I mean, first. I can get down with this way of living. How long is this going to take? It, I feel like it's kind of a no brainer. That's hilarious. That's the, scandinavian oh way goodness. of life the way of working the like everything when it comes to like work life balance is much better than it is in north america mm -hmm. most people have to have their summer vacation like it's just you know it's just no july no discussion. all of it july has to you just have to have your summer break in north america it's just kind of like you know you have to schedule your mm -hmm. paid time off and a lot of people don't have like a summer break and i never i kid you not here in the states i've never seen somebody get two consecutive weeks off like you might have two weeks but you gotta find you might get this week off this month and a couple of months later you might be able to take off for another week but two consecutive weeks i've never seen in it in canada we would be paid every second week we would get like our paycheck for the last two weeks but here it's like you get your paycheck on a specific day every month oh, instead wow. of ev every two weeks uh wednesdays are like a second friday i remember passing by a, a bar and seeing it like really full on a wednesday and noticing that wednesdays the streets seem to be a wow little bit that's rowdier. the first time i heard that and i asked sebastian i was like why is it so busy on a wednesday on a wednesday and he said oh because like wednesday is kind of like a, a sort of middle of the week type of Friday. Mm. I guess like hump day, they, they really go out and day. have drinks and it's like something people can look forward to in the middle of the week. And I'm sure some people do that huh. in North America, but that's interesting. This is actually the first time I heard this, but like in college, like people partied and turned up every day. It didn't matter what day it was, but usually, you know what? <laughs> Well, not that I think Wednesday do be packed. Maybe at certain restaurants, because usually when if it's a restaurant that sell wings, wings are usually fifty percent off. We used to go to a place they used to have the wings. You know, you get a certain amount for a price, and they were almost like twenty five cents a wing. I ain't gonna lie, we were there every Wednesday, but people were there. So Wednesday, yeah, I can see it being like a little Saturday. You know, it definitely was celebrating it, the week almost being over with like the people I was around back in Canada and like just people just want to go home midweek and they're just like looking forward to friday so mm -hmm. candy on the weekends is a big thing here especially i think on saturdays um even if mm -hmm. you're a full-grown adult in the grocery <laughs> stores there'll be like a a section where there's assorted oh, the goodness candy. gracious there'll be like a lot of people at the candy section of grocery stores because they need to get their candy i will say this if you're ever going to go to sweden I highly suggest trying one of these because 
Swedish candy is just on it a is whole good. other level. Like it's good. I, I ain't gonna I'm not a licorice type of guy. I don't know about that, but everything else was delicious. Their candy is so good. Except I still can't get down with the licorice thing. Come That's on now. Thing. Come on like, now. Swedes. I can't are do it either. Crazy about licorice. And for me, licorice is like really bitter. I'm not used to licorice. I'm sure if you grow up with licorice and have had it your entire yeah. life, then it probably tastes really good. But for me, I'm just like, oh, oh. it's <laughs> definitely an acquired taste for me. This is a, another thing that a lot of people talk about when they're a foreigner in Sweden and it's liquor stores. For me, I don't drink, oh, yeah. so I don't it's not something I probably would have noticed if, you know, if I just lived by myself because I would never go to a liquor store. On occasion, I will accompany Sebastian to the liquor store. Here, they just have one type of like liquor store company, mm -hmm. like a, a branch. Just At least where I lived that. in Canada, there were a lot of liquor stores, like different companies. <laughs> I think you you can pretty much get some beer. You can get it anywhere here. Hey, <laughs> you can go to like a CVS. You can go to a gas station. Shoot, they got them. Yeah, you can get liquor anywhere here. They got them um, everywhere. All over the place. At least in the city that I live in, there's really only one liquor store that's like a easily w walking distance in the city. And um, the other one I think is like further outside of the city. Um, but I've never been there. I've never seen it. Mm -hmm. I found it really interesting, like seeing the long line of people waiting to buy liquor, uh, for special occasions like Christmas, like the liquor store today, it's a Monday. It closes at six. Um, in Canada, like the liquor stores where I lived, um, some of them would close at like nine or 10. Um, some of them even too. later, like some at like midnight or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it lasts Yeah, here long it's just they close at a specific time and then they're also closed on Sundays. Also, in general, stores tend to close earlier here mm -hmm. than <laughs> I'm used to, especially on weekends back home. I feel like in Sweden, you really gotta be, you really gotta have your, have a schedule like for your life, like not even just for work. You really got to have a schedule for your life to so make sure you don't miss stay nothing. stay open later because they want more money. They want more customers. That's so true. they will keep their store hours later on the weekends because they know people are out mm -hmm. late on the weekends. No people doing some um, stuff. But here, up. it's kind of the opposite, which I find really interesting. Fika. Fika, so fika. this is basically a time of day where you have coffee or like a pastry and you usually have it with a friend or uh with you know other people and you're just there to enjoy your coffee and just chat i i really love fika i wish mm -hmm. that we would have a version of that back home but yeah it's kind of like a way of life a way of just living chilling, like, you, have, you know it's like Swedes Take this are break. serious when it comes to fika. Back home, I would, you know, hang out with my sister and we'd be like, do you want to go to Starbucks? And so we would go to Starbucks and we would grab a cup, like a Starbucks cup to go. And we would like walk around the neighborhood, mm -hmm. sipping our coffees and just talking. And that's definitely not a thing here. It's an automatic that you're going to get your coffee in a regular a cup, like in a regular mug. And... It's just a given that you're going to sit down and drink it. And I honestly prefer there. that in a lot of ways. Like, it's better than to just, like... I was just telling my wife, because she was mentioning how, oh, Starbucks, our Starbucks is small. But I'm like, I think Starbucks everywhere is small. It's not too much seating in Starbucks to me. Like, they have little things where you can sit outside. But on the inside, I don't think Starbucks is that big for, like, a lot of people to sit there. That's just what I think. Me personally, and they got Wi-Fi and everything, so grab it's your like cup for a to few go people. and like stress drink. Stress <laughs> drink. Cafes are usually very packed, and um, I like that. I like a packed cafe, as long as you have somewhere to sit. I oh, recently come on now. did Gotta need to see photos. It. If you watched my last video, you will know. And um, something that I realized isn't a thing here in Sweden is engagement photos. Oh. So in Canada, it's, um, and in North America in general, I think it's more 
common to get engagement photos. Like engagement everyone photos, I know that has gotten engagement. Baby showers, uh what else? Um uh, or just gender reveals or like those type of pictures and stuff. They we do it all down here. Like you got pictures of like nowadays the women I mean, I don't it could be in Sweden, you know, when a woman's pregnant, she do like a photo shoot and stuff. You know, those different things. Aged, so. Um or every married couple has had engagement photos. It's just yep. like, you know, it's part of the engagement photos, wedding photos. I don't really know why. I guess it's just to document your engagement or an engagement video. You know, but I have one in of those. Sweden, that's not really a thing. I, I think it's becoming more common now a little bit, but people tend to just get a photographer for their weddings mm -hmm. and to get like a, a wedding photographer than to get in a photographer for an engagement shoot like it's just not as popular here i ain't gonna lie the engagement videos they they be just or uh, photos they be just as big the event be as big as the wedding just about um, it's like a pre-wedding how dark it gets in the fall and winter and how bright it is in the summertime but personally mm -hmm. i really love that in that the summertime cat? it the sun doesn't fully set until like sometimes like 10 p.m and mm -hmm. even sometimes in the summertime it doesn't get like fully fully dark in the winter time the sun sets so early like sometimes you barely see any Dang, that's daylight nice. it feels like in the winters um it gets dark very very quickly like even right now when i'm filming this at like 3 p.m and it's like it's november and it's fairly pitch black out right now Dang, i think it's three? definitely something to experience though this is how dark it is right now and it is 4 oh my PM. gosh 4 30 p.m this is what 4 30 p.m looks like in central sweden but yeah that would make me, I would be getting ready for bed. That's it for my video. That made me feel like I need to go to now. bed or something. I do have some life updates to mention, but nothing is set in stone right now. So I don't really want to say anything until I know for sure. So with that being said, if you're interested in following any of my social media accounts, then all the links are down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Good. If you have any video suggestions, then you can email me. My email is in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Much love, guys. Nice, Bye. nice. This was good. I definitely got to subscribe. Uh, just because I love Sweden and my hopes, my hopes, guys. I'm nervous. I'm nervous, but definitely gonna make it to sweden this summer uh yeah get to experience all of this for the first time and i don't even know how i'm gonna feel about it i don't know like i you know right now just thinking about it because the time is flying because we here in march before you know it's gonna be april the may and june and then i, I don't know it, the time just flying for me but all in all i know it's gonna be nice experience be in a different country and stuff like that uh but yeah, Sweden, love Sweden, culture shocks, definitely different, definitely different. Uh, but I've learned so much that I feel like I, it wouldn't be hard for me to adapt, you know. But other than that, nice, good place. But this was good. Shout out to Mary Bell. Y'all make sure y'all follow her channel and subscribe. Uh, yeah, and Canadian, from Canada, nice. This is the first time we got a difference between Canada and Sweden, or Canada and somewhere else in general, because I don't think, I don't do too much stuff about Canada, so, but it's pretty cool, pretty cool. All in all, appreciate you guys for tuning in. Y'all hit that subscribe button, send out more recommendations. Hey, y'all be blessed, be the best to be you. I'm out.